welcome back to Let's Talk About That. <laughs> part two. Part two. With so, Crystal. With Crystal. Miller. So there was a little bit left over that we felt like you guys missed out on. So we wanted to talk a little bit more. We didn't let her leave the door. We <laughs> we dragged her. Yeah. <clears throat> no, we dragged her back. We dragged her back into the, yeah. the studio uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. because we wanted to These answer a few more things. Yeah. Oh, those are not hand <laughs> prints. Right? Yeah, no. This is not a do nothing of the sort. It was all legal. <laughs> so there was a couple points we wanted to touch on that we didn't jump into. One thing was you mentioned something about the financial commitment. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, with any buyer, I think so we touched on I mean, as a, as a realtor, right? You said as a, as a realtor or what we were saying? For buyers. For, for buyers. Sure okay. For buyers. Okay. Yeah, for well, buyers. Well, actually okay. also the real. I can yeah. touch on both. Both. Hit both of those because yeah. that's so, important. Yeah. As a buyer, when you're looking to, like, let's say the first time home buyer, you know, they also want to check there's a whole – the whole slew, get, you know, get, get informed, you mm-hmm. know, all that good stuff. Um, but make sure that you're financially ready to make that decision. That is a huge. Maybe pre-approvals huge are good. Step. Yep. Get mm-hmm. with a lender. Well, mm-hmm. obviously get with a realtor. They can also help you find a lender yeah. if you're not wanting to just go with your bank or something like that. Um, you know, we have, we know tons of people. Um, so lenders um, and mortgage companies, stuff like that. <coughs> but um, get hooked in. And Do you have private in- investors? I do not at this point. There are private investors um, mm-hmm. that are like big time. No, I mean that's lending. Yeah, yeah it yeah. is. It is a thing. Um, I would say more investors um, will reach out to private lending companies, private equity firms. Yeah, <laughs> versus somebody who's buying their first home. Right. So, okay. um, and then you know, a lot of people will ask, like, you know, will they sell online contract? Will they do rent to own? Mm-hmm. You know, stuff like that. Um, that's not as popular right now, just because people right. just sell their houses, make yeah. their money, and move on. Mm-hmm. Um, but like financially, for a realtor, well, okay, let me finish on the the lending part. <laughs> you know, you I I said earlier that you know you want to jive with whatever realtor you're working with. You also want to make sure that you're comfortable with your lender because they're making your financial decisions. They're telling mm-hmm. you what you're approved for, how much your monthly payments are gonna be, you know, that kind of stuff. You need to know for sure that financially you can afford this house that you're moving into mm-hmm. because you don't want to be house poor. Right. Like you don't want to move in and then lose everything else mm-hmm. or right. lose your house in a couple of years because of it. It's important. Because not only the if the, the lender says you're approved. Approved, they can tend to approve people that aren't quite. The, what I'm saying is they're they're a little bit more adept to like. But if you can't afford your payments, but that's what I'm saying though. But sometimes, you, yeah, sometimes, you can't live. Sometimes that's a problem. But sometimes a, a lender will just go ahead with the loan type deal, and um, you have to fit you, right. You pay. You, you <laughs> pay. On paper, you look like you I could love have it. financially re- been responsible for that, and you get a little excited to be in this home mm-hmm. that you attend to do this well, thing. And then when the, the months start rolling on, and you're like, Leak, not um, only do you have to think about the monthly payment of things, but you have to think about okay, if something goes wrong, I got to pay for that. Yep. Utilities, pay for groceries, gas, yes. utilities, like you still all this other your stuff. other bills. Yeah, you can't yeah. Stop paying your other bills just because you have a house payment. Well, right. and, you know the emergencies that come up. You know, mm-hmm. oh, your furnace doesn't work anymore. Do you have a w- WTF fund back? <laughs> yeah. You know, I've like never heard do, it called that. But oh, that's I'm, mine. Okay. Like six months. Okay, and try like, uh, reach. There was a wrench, like in my a wrench. <laughs> because I, I I live on the water, they wanted me to get flood and uh, oh, yeah. flood insurance. Oh, and yeah. I would have added like another two hundred some dollars a month. Yeah. And that see, I was approved to for the payment prior to that. Mm-hmm. And then when they threw that wrench in, it almost made me not available to get that house. You couldn't afford it then. Well, I ended up paying a company to come out and survey my land oh. and I paid them five hundred bucks. Oh, and they came up with the conclusion that it would have to be pretty bad to get all the way to my house. Oh, and so nice. that so that's that survey, a whole other business. The insurance company was like, "Okay, we accept the survey. You don't have to get this extra flood nice. insurance." Mm-hmm. So yeah, I lucked out. But there's that one flood that we had. What was it? Oh, 2019 yeah. or yeah, something yeah. like that. That it was like that. It was like crazy flood. It got up to the last oh, hill. Oh my goodness. Like the before last the hill before the house. So then you had like, a half like, oh acre God. left How that was not underwater. That's why. 
because the other five was underwater. Other right. four and a half no, was underwater. Because like, it goes up several several hills before it okay. gets to my house from the river. Oh my god! And I was like, "There's just no You're way." Like, That's it, Please right don't come there. Up any further, don't come up any further. Oh, I was, yeah, I, I was believe. freaking. I was like, "How am I going to explain this to my insurance company?" <laughs> I said it was cool. <laughs> They're going to laugh and be like, "You're on your own, Mister Miller." Yeah, I told you so. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you know what? I changed my mind. Can we just go ahead and get the flood insurance right now? Can we just close? it out right now just, just, this, just this month yeah then i call him right back i'm like oh yeah by the way my house flooded <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's called a ninja stab <laughs> two hours later the river rose 14 and a half feet crazy right crazy right well everything was flooding at that time yeah so. right but yeah, well, it's, and just financially knowing, because like your lender can also give you estimates on, you know, what your homeowner insurance is going to be, mm-hmm. you know, what what are your uh, approximate taxes, you know, they're going to put all that because all of that stuff comes into one payment if you're yep. going to escrow it in, you know, so you want to know what that payment is because let's say they're they're renting and they're only paying eight hundred dollars a month right now, but their mortgage. Okay, let's say the mortgage is eight hundred a month, but they still have to pay homeowners insurance, and they also have to, mm-hmm. you know, pay your taxes, all that good stuff. You know, you also, you know, that could take the payment, let's just say, to a thousand dollars. You know, how do you so, how do you know that when you're placing, if you're a buyer and you're looking to place an offer, you try to do that ahead of time. You, so actually, a lot of times, what my so my recommendation is to have your buyer, the buyers, reach out to you, or like with the agents or the the lenders. Um, a lot of them, I have their cell phone numbers. I'll just text them and be like, hey, we're going to go look at this house. What are their payments? Can they afford this? Can we go up in price? Can we not mm-hmm. go up in price? Do we have to stay here? You know? Right. The taxes play a role in it too. Yeah. Because if you have like lower taxes, then you don't pay as much. Yeah. Right. And then mm-hmm. if it's higher taxes, then you pay more. Yeah. yeah and and then- that's all in, in where you... Where you're looking. Right. Well, and yeah, it depends on your area Schooling, and the tax rates yeah. and stuff like that mm-hmm. because there are areas that have much higher taxes. Like LaGrange County has lower mm-hmm. taxes. Elkhart County has way higher, you know? <laughs> stupid. Right. Yes. Well, I mean, but even oh, there, was, there was even there was even some difference between like, okay, I'm in Bristol. Yeah. And when I was looking like Goshen is Elkhart County, but parts of Goshen, it was like, Holy cow, like, oh my gosh, these taxes are outrageous. Well, and, and also the community development, too. So and if yep. they're building yep. out, your tax is about yep. to jump. Well, and I think it was right around the time they were starting to build that Goshen Middle School. Oh, mm. well, and the other thing to remember, too, is school districts. Yeah. Um, just because, you know, if you're in Bristol and you're on the Elkhart side. I'm on the school, Elkhart side. Yeah. And yeah. then if you're on the Northridge side, you know, it, it's a little bit different. Right. Ish. So what's your opinion on renting versus just buying a house Ooh, well Mm. so um i would say (laughs) right now i know um right now so rent has been going up drastically no that's stupid yeah it's stupid how much i feel like if you can afford rent right now you can afford you can can if you can find one yep yeah well if you can find one that's Mm -hmm. just it yeah and not just that (laughs) and not just any house i mean of course you can't afford a million dollar house (laughs) it's like it's cardboard box (laughs) you're like (laughs) but i mean a normal house you know in the city somewhere three bedroom two bath house yeah, for your I mean, cute little family. Yeah, I get it. Versus, What's that? The cardboard box with a Four Seasons room? Ooh, yeah. Versus the fifth Just floor in the back. <laughs> <laughs> in the complex. Yeah. You know. Yeah, well, and honestly, with the, the, the price of rent right now, it almost, I mean, yes, interest rates are, a little, are, are not at an all time high. They're not, they're, just at an average, yeah. Right around now, like seven or eight. Is, yeah, right mm-hmm. in that the six to eight. Um, mm-hmm. The thing is, is that we're so used to the two to three to four percent that we had during COVID. Spoiler. Mm-hmm. I know, right? Mm-hmm. That's why we refinanced. <laughs> um, <laughs> but you know, um, we're used to those. So people do feel like these prices, these interest rates are high. But if you look back through history, these aren't. This was normal. This is, this is normal. Well, you know, my yeah. dad had a my like dad 15, had twelve percent right? yep. on his 12, house. 15. I got locked like, in. Great. Ooh. 12 years ago, ooh, I got locked in great. Oh, nice. With a, like, 25%? No. I would have not, not done that. That's a, that's if you're buying a car. <laughs> well, this is, right. this is taking the shirt off your back. I mean, <laughs> no, I think I think I got it right around the 3%, 4%. That's oh, that's solid. Nice. Yeah. That's and nice. I got it locked. Too? Yeah. Wow. Well, okay. I, I did okay. great. Yeah, mine was, mine was four in 2008. That was, that was, was the- Really? 
That was a bit high back then, but that was a uh, oh four percent was solid for that because that was the collapse. Interesting. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah that's what I stole my house. Oh, boy. Yeah, that, I had another house. I kept both. I kept the other one and converted it to a oh, rental. Nice. And then I just stole the other house yeah. that I got the house I want. It was now it's like I think as soon as I moved in the house, I had like one hundred and fifty thousand in equity. As soon as yeah. I bought it, I bought mine in two thousand and eight. Oh, okay, so that tells yeah, you what's that now. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Well, so if you were doing, I feel like in two thousand eight, if you were able to do that kind of stuff, I feel like you came out on top for sure. Oh, mm-hmm. I wasn't. I was just like crazy. <laughs> I was just like, screw this. I'm gonna do it. Like, guess what? This is going to happen. Yeah. You know, you know and what? sometimes we got to do that. Dude, you have to. Yeah. Sometimes you got to go for it. Wing it. Yeah. Because that's it. That's yeah. all you have to do. Take it, the chance. Take it. the risk. Yeah. I mean, what's what's the worst that's going to happen? You're going to lose it. <laughs> I mean. Well, then you don't have to pay on it anymore. <laughs> yeah, but I mean. you. So there's some. Okay. Talk about that. Okay. So there's some things that you can do before you leave your lose your house. Talk about that. Do you know about that? No, like, so- like before you get foreclosed on, what would you do instead of foreclosing on your Pay house? Your bills. Pay your bills or sell the freaking or house. Or sell it. Yeah. yeah yes. Because you do it. So yes. like the pre-foreclosure yeah. process in Indiana can take up to 18 months. Oh, so you can sell your so, house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, and it depends on too. Like, have you just been not paying your bills or are you not paying your taxes? You know, what what's the situation? Because obviously there's, there's different situations. But yeah. I would say in that case, sell the house. Yeah. Try to just sell it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that happens. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It does. So Unfortunately, it so does. so basically you could even downsize. You could say, I can yeah, get well, I can get a, a trailer yeah. or whatever you have to do. No, I'm saying if you're <laughs> if you're having some hard times, yeah. sell your freaking house. Yeah, but you want to know what? Even trailers. Because I'm not a lying lie. I have looked into that. Yes, though. That, <laughs> no, no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's like, whoa, no, because, whoa, whoa. Because, because they'll be like, uh, the house payment for a trailer for a nice, you know, some of these double wides and stuff are freaking luxurious. There's you know, some of them like really they, nice they're really, really nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they'll be like, oh, yeah, payments are only two, three hundred dollars a month, but they like to tell you. You also have the lot payment. The yeah. lot payment yeah. is another. Three, four hundred dollars a month. So you're back up to a house. Exactly. Yeah. Well, and honestly, um, if the, I've seen where people, instead of like if they're losing their house or like if they're in a situation where they feel like they can't afford it or keep moving forward, they sell and move in with family, mm-hmm. you know, temporarily till they can get back on their feet and mm-hmm. get something. Well, and this, that's important because I wanted to touch on that. Like right now, some of you listening and watching this right now are in over your head right this moment. Because you're like, wow, this is an opportunity, and I'm going to buy my home. And you're about to lose it. Mm-hmm. Don't lose your house. No. You can get out of it. I know there's a sentimental value. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't want to lose there my There is home. also ways to stay in it. Well, yeah. and you can have investors. Yep. There there's programs, other people that buy them There's pro- programs through Indiana mm-hmm. that will help you keep that. Well, and if they, mm-hmm. if somebody, you know, Hope anybody Foundation. that's struggling, yep, if anybody is struggling, what I would also recommend is plug into your community, you know, talk to the chamber, talk to, talk yeah. to a realtor, Get talk, to, talk yeah. to somebody, just plug into your community, ask for help. The um, whole point is to ask for help. Yeah. yeah. Don't just sit there and let it go yeah. under. Let it happen. Yeah. But that, I mean, that happens very easily. Help. And it's, it's happened to me before some number of years ago, you know, hard times. Yeah. But. As homeowners, you tend to get hard headed. Oh yeah, like you think it's, you think you can pull yourself it out is, of the. It is, it is and so you hard. think you're like, no, yep. there's yeah. like a little bit longer. I can I can pull myself out, yeah. but time flies. Yeah, time well, absolutely flies as an adult. And, other and stuff then before comes you up. know it, months have gone by, and you're still in the same position. And you're like, oh crap, now I may be too late. So, well, so and, ask for help. So yep, yeah, you need to literally. Act. You can, act on it right away. You can also contact your lender, whoever your loan is through. And a lot of times, yeah. if they're cool, I mean, you yeah, can ask them, hey, what can we do? Or if I decide to sell, can I do a short sale? Or, mm-hmm. you know, what are you yeah. guys willing to do to the help? The whole not just contacting. Ask, yeah, just worse ask questions. Get they can involved. defer your payments, too. Yeah, yeah. they can. So they can if push you, it towards the end. If you honestly just mortgage. talk to them, you would be surprised at how much people will help you. But it's mm-hmm. the lack of just... Not communicating with people 
and just ignoring mm-hmm. things is what gets you in trouble. Hey, they don't go away if you ignore no. them. Right. And here's no, here's a here's a secret. Certain things do. But not <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. It's a problem. Yeah, exactly. People so do sometimes. People do. <laughs> But not financial problems. <laughs> they will disappear Ghost. on you. Go, yeah. <laughs> Ghost. So here's the here's the secret with banks. Banks don't want your house. No. They, they don't. don't. So they will no, work with they're you. They're gonna lose a ton of money. Well, and you know how much money they lose if it's vacant? Oh. Yeah. And maintenance and right. upkeep. Yeah. If that and then if it sits so long, it they, gets yep. trash. And then it gets they trash. Or then, it, it, then, it, then it becomes a squat home. Yeah. Ooh, there's squatter laws too. Get and you can't get them out. You can't get them get out. Get sold at a tax yep. sale, and then they the banks really lose out. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. they and you're right. They really don't. So I think just asking questions, getting involved, yeah, doing the things, not just not doing anything. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. I totally agree. Definitely, yeah. And I kind of have a question. Um, yeah. I've been seeing commercials on TV mm-hmm. for real estate agents now that are online. Hmm. online real estate agents they will handle all your closing and all that stuff and they offer it for like one percent or something like that i forget what they said but it was like it was crazy and i just thought like is that really what we're on to like online realtors now well there's no showings for what well, i was gonna say how would it, how <laughs> that's what i was kind of okay. confused so and I, I, was hoping, that. I was hoping well, maybe you would know more about it because i, I was haven't curious. seen that yet so yeah well, it's, it's a commercial crystal's like, like mm, it's a commercial that gets how? played all the yeah. time on tv you'll have to send it to me or something yeah i will I'm try curious. to find it yeah i'm curious like a virtual realtor yeah it is it and I don't understand how it works. Like, how do these people get to go see the house? Well, so they don't. Still, there would still need to be somebody. <laughs> well, but yeah. here's the thing. Well, okay. Is there somebody saying. that could just... So maybe somebody is advertising themselves or something like that? Maybe? I don't know. No, it's like this whole, like, their whole selling premise on this commercial was, do you not want to give up the whatever? I, what percent are so what percent are you guys up to now? Typical... Is- just 10. <laughs> 12, 12, 15. Um, no, typical, I would say, is 6%. Um, but that also gets split between two brokerages. Right. right. With the same. Unless you're, yeah. unless unless you're buying you're and the, selling. Unless, unless you're, you're buying and agent, selling. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, so their whole premise on the commercial was... Do you want to avoid paying oh my this 6 7%? We will sell or buy your house oh or, or sell you a house for, and do all of this for like 2%. Is it a scam? I don't know. Oh, okay. I was just hoping maybe you feels a little slimy. I mean, it's one of those infomercials, so a lot of those can. What time is it on? (laughs) What time? It's about three in the morning. It was after Jimmy Kimmel. (laughs) (laughs) No, No, I do see it during the day. I'm talking on Nash on on regular TV, bunny ears, you know, not cable. Interesting. I haven't seen those yet. I've seen them. Well, so also, I guess to touch on that, like too, like. Um, if somebody is struggling, because we've talked about struggling, if you work with an agent and they are compassionate and understanding of your your situation, um, I have absolutely, you know, I'm not saying that every agent is going to do this, but if you're in a hard spot and you need to sell, talk to your agent, see if they'll work with you on a commission, like because be if, yeah, if, yeah. if you're not, yeah, if you're not, if yeah, if you're not willing to get rid of, keep in mind, not all, not all real agents no. are going to do I that. Maybe that's not something I should say, and but, maybe not every you time. Know, right. but but, depending on the you scenario, know, there are people who are very understanding. In you know, I think we all have to be. If you're in this business, hmm. I feel like. You know, we do this for people. You mm-hmm. know, this is, I have a passion for people. I love people. I want to help. Right. Um, so, you know, I'm not saying every agent will do that, um, but. Especially if you're difficult. Yeah. If you're difficult. I'm just going to say. You actually, like you're not like getting a discount. Right. Yeah. Oh, well, let's, let's, <laughs> let's keep it real. Difficult people don't get it easy. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, let's talk about difficult people. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> no, I bet you get a lot of those. Oh, you get people shoot. where you show them a house because I've seen this a few times, and they walk in and they're like, "I don't like the color of the walls. <laughs> this is not a house for me." Like stuff like that in my eyes, like that would you really hurt me because that's stuff that can be changed. Yeah. Like so I hate you, those blinds. House by the color of the walls. Those blinds are horrible. Inside, okay, maybe yeah. outside. If it was like some pink siding, siding can get expensive. Siding you know what I'm saying? Take a spray paint. Like 
Follow like if that <laughs> something, something like that, maybe I could be like, okay, that's ugly. I don't want to live here. But to just walk in and be like, that carpet is nasty and the yeah. walls are like, I feel like a lot of people do that and they, cause they don't, they don't even think about, well, that can just be painted so and. You have the handy people and you have the non handy people. And I feel like if you walk into a house and you're not handy, I mean, I'm not handy. And I can do paint. I can paint walls. I can change the right. Paint. But like, I can't do some of the hard work. Right. So if I walk, I mean, I've had people that walk into house and they're like, oh, these colors. I'm like, well, you can change that. Mm. You can paint it. Right. Yeah, you know, like, so, yes, we do. I do. They want it yeah. moving ready, like. They do. And on I think a that's perfectly the staged and, and ready to move in. exactly how they want it. They just want to get in it. Yep. They just and some people move. buy with the furniture. I'm and like, I want, I want the furniture, too. And, and your TV that, and your family photos. That does and your family. That absolutely does. <laughs> your family. Yeah. Except for that. <laughs> that, yeah. that, that, yeah. that kid. He looks dirty. No. <laughs> no. That one's out. Take the dog too. Yeah. So, yeah. I would say – and I'm not going to say Keep that they're normal. difficult, but, like, they're more – they're pickier. They, right. w- they want what they want, and that's what they're going to get. Mm-hmm. And that's fine. Sometimes we just have to look a little bit longer to find right. exactly what they want. Mm-hmm. And that's well, okay. No, it's, it, it happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What, what's been your, like, longest drawn-out customer? Like, what's the longest you've taken somebody around looking for houses? Like, how a year, a couple months? I would say two years. Good Lord. And um, But it was during the COVID era. Okay. Yeah. Um, and now, then, did you think they were being quite picky? No. They had a larger fa- – their family was growing significantly, so they needed they needed more space. COVID will do that. Very specific – yeah, that's <laughs> what I've heard. <laughs> so, God, um, we weren't locked down that long. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> you can only have so many a year, right? I mean, there's a limit. To speak to yourself. <laughs> yeah, there's a limit. Oh, but there's yeah. A limit. So, and you know that's okay. Um, we did find them something. They ended up building actually. Um, on a piece be. of wow. Property. That's 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 ambitious because it was expensive yes. to build. Uh-huh. I was actually going to do that before I found my place because, mm-hmm. like I said, we went you around. Kind of run out of options. We, we ran. Uh, we ran around for a year looking at properties, and I wanted land. Mm-hmm. And everything I was finding was like field acres. Oh, uh, too. And we were going to, we got approved to build. But oh, like perfect. I said, again, we find, we're finding acres of just like field acres, like no trees. It just. And you wanted a like, river too. Well, yeah. well I mean, no, I <laughs> wanted, just land of on course, a river. always wanted to live on water, mm-hmm. but everybody knows water properties are expensive. Oh, no matter what. Yeah, is, even river. Anything on any river, yeah. lake, water, water, water properties are expensive. Mm-hmm. So I never thought that was really an option. I just wanted land, but I wanted some character to land. I just didn't want field acres. Like there was no purpose. I'm not a dirt bike rider. You know, like, okay, field acres, yeah, we can go make some jumps and stuff. But like I wanted some right. like to look at something. You know, I wanted trees and uh, woods. Let's, and, okay, let's, uh, let's, so when let's I be real. You place, didn't want neighbors. <laughs> Come right. on. No. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. right. I'm yeah. Like, he's he's like, like, yes. I, yes. <laughs> Actually, the place yeah. I wanted my <laughs> privacy. A factory across from it, and right beside it is another like little shop, but there's no oh. houses. It's your space. Beside me. Like there's yes. five, I'd say about a quarter mile uh west is my next neighbor, and a quarter oh. mile east is my next neighbor. That's nice. Like so, I and then I'm so surrounded bad. by factories, which <laughs> Uh, United Trailers, they're done by freaking 1 o'clock every day, oh. and they do not work on Friday. Says, so you don't even see them. <laughs> right. Most and of the time when I have parties, I have a whole parking lot across the street for free. <laughs> nice. Free. So he's not having Score. parties. He's having big parties. Oh, no. I used to have some rage. <laughs> you're like, my barn was a club. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Hopefully you're not listening to this. <laughs> So they've installed new cameras as we're speaking right now. Oh, no, I did get and in trouble by United Trailers. <laughs> they did contact me and say, you can't park over here anymore. Mr. Miller, but I grew we're going to have to charge you for parties. parking. <laughs> so, so, he hasn't gotten in trouble lately. So. Yeah. Mm, Not no, as no. many ragers. Not as many. No. What about you? <laughs> Colby, you having rangers at the house when I'm not there? Well, what are you talking about? He's like, I don't know what you're talking about. No comment. No comment. Just <laughs> see, let me help you out. No comment. Well, what I'm saying is that mm-hmm. next time you go on any type of vacation, 
Just don't pay too much attention <laughs> to how it looks. Do you, <laughs> he, you have a ring well, camera? Well, your dad, I he's, like, he's taking video taking... of the whole house yeah. before he leaves. So when he gets back, he's like, That's out that of moved. <laughs> I taped, I put a piece of tape that on That mug <laughs> is different. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's a different color. No, that would actually be the wife. <laughs> she would be like that. She would definitely be the one that could tell like if something oh, yeah. moved. I would be like, what? <laughs> that's oh, that was there funny. before? That bra was never hanging from the ceiling? <laughs> <laughs> like, Wait, that's not yours? <laughs> Wait, what? And I'm sure you've seen that into houses you've shown before. There's bras um, or things. And I actually showed a house that um, the renter was at home still. Oh. And that's okay. Because, like, that happens. Yeah. Um, But, so it was in Fort Wayne. Um, we all are familiar with Fort Wayne, I feel like. Um, she answered the door in her underwear. <gasps> I was um, going to say the birthday suit. So not birthday suit. She was in her underwear God. and a tank top. <laughs> and I was like, oh, is it okay? Like we had a show and she's like, I knew you were coming. And oh, like, oh okay. well, she doesn't want it to sell. Cool. Okay, cool. She's comfortable. So She's like, go ahead, go through the house. She's like, I'm just going to do my makeup. I got to go to work. And I was like, okay, thanks. And they're like, Go look at the house. We're here. Like we are here. Go look at the house. We we're drove here. all the way out here. Go do it quick. Just don't look over there. Like let's go. <laughs> then she's walking out. What anybody? Does anybody want any iced tea? <laughs> oh, I was just like, oh, that was the most uncomfortable I feel yeah, like I've ever been. That's pretty awkward. Yeah, that would be. Uh, that would be was really like, oh. awkward. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> we looked at a house one time, and it like just smelled like straight pot. Like Aww. real strong. Yeah. <laughs> like I mean, this was like a lot. This was 2008. Oh, okay. When we were looking at houses, <laughs> and we're like, something's wrong with this basement. And it didn't. It was like, oh, I know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> when you actually could but, smell. No, my wife was like, it's kind of musky. I'm like, oh. mm, yeah, yeah, you're right. That's, that's, yeah. what, that's what it is. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, honestly, the weirdest thing that I've ever seen, I would just say this is the weirdest. There was a house that was pretty decent. Mm -hmm. um, the It was like a second level. So as you went up the steps, there's like a little landing and there was a door going out. But you open that door and there was nothing. Like mm -hmm. no, like you just drop down to huh. like the first floor. Um, but on that landing hmm. was a fully functioning toilet. In the middle of the... The landing. Yep. With the door right there. And I was like, oh. Wait a minute. I think huh. I know about that house. I've seen it before. No, you haven't. I swear. That sounds really familiar. Really? There was like in... So then you just went right up to the second. And I was like, what is the point? Uh, unless we're you're like, like on the toilet. In front of everybody. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, unless you're on the toilet and you need to yell at the kids, like open the door, like, hey, stop. The visibility. <laughs> you see what's going on. Oh, my gosh. Wow. So that was yeah. just like one of the weirdest... Interesting. Well, so okay. so basically, I think it's important is if you're a home buyer to tell your realtor what you don't want to see. <laughs> Actually, no, seriously, yeah. like tell, don't give me like like a crap show. I don't want to see it. Like if you say you want something moving ready, then say like, hey, I'm looking for something more moving ready. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want a fixer upper. Right. I don't want to even look at that because I don't have time to do that. Yep. Speaking right. of, do you ever get people like? Like I had parameters when I was looking, yeah. But I mean, they were kind of loose. You know what I mean? Okay. So, do you have people that are like, "No, I dead set yep. has to be three bedroom. I have to have a pool. Yep. Has to have a basement. The colors got to be blue. You know, helicopter like, pad, right? Like, <laughs> like that. Not very many dead of those. Set on <laughs> those, and they're not. <laughs> like I was yes. able to compromise. You know what I mean? Yep. Like I, like I had parameters, but I was. You were flexible on. Yeah, I'm yeah. like I just wanted something cool. Yeah, yeah, I do. We do. Yes, That's I gotta do get be that. Kind of a pain in well, those. and I feel like uh, it just makes it a little bit more difficult because then it's like, well, okay, um, I'll send you these houses. These might fit the bill, but like, hey, let's go look at it because there's potentially another room in the basement that could be. I was gonna a say, better, have you ever got you know like. like you find perfect houses for them, but it's missing like one oh, thing, yeah. like not the yeah. ba backyard's not fenced in. Yeah. And well, people are like, no, that is a deal breaker. Well, and some people, and you know, that's actually a really good point because then some people don't actually have the money outside of purchasing a house to like add the extra money 
to add the, the fence. fence. You know, they're looking for what they're looking for because that's what they need. That's what fits their well, lifestyle right now. And there's something also interesting to add on to is some <clears throat> listings aren't very accurate and you need to go oh. look at them. Oh, yeah. well, no. And, and pictures. Honestly, yeah. lie. I always tell people whether the pictures look amazing or they look awful. Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter. Go look at Let's it. go look at so it. I've seen some houses yep. that are really nice and we went to go look at them and we're like, oh boy, foundation Ooh. is off. Oh, or no, like, I'm the telling you, like bad. this like leaning. Oh, that yeah. Is <laughs> that is definitely a question that I need <laughs> to ask you. Oh. Is okay. how, mm -hmm. I'm a photographer, videographer, <gasps> and I just can't wrap my head around how you guys make these rooms look so big? My picture, because you can, because when I was looking for houses, you would literally see in the books and stuff, or or online, you would go through the pictures. This and is it, huge. Yeah, you're like, oh my god, these rooms look awesome, and then you get there, and it's like a New York apartment. Right. You're like, oh my god, so, like you know, the size of the room. Right right now. <laughs> like, you're so. I actually, some people, what a lot of people cameras? hire. I don't, I don't use a camera. I used to use my camera, but my phone actually has a better yeah. megapixels. Yeah. So like my phone, you can do the zoom out all the way. It's a uh, wide angle. You're standing outside the room. You're standing outside the room. You're like at exactly that wall, at the door. trying to get it on. Then you're popping in. Like I've heard if you do that, if you stand in the corner. Oh yes. yeah. yeah. And sometimes I'll stand in the corner and. And then like hold my phone above me to take the picture. She's got a selfie yeah, like, stick that's a lady that on no. the court. <laughs> I'm always amazed at how good they look on the pictures. And then yeah, like Kaylee said, you get there and you're like, what? What is this? Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I will say like, this isn't even the same house at this yeah. point. It's like Personally, I just use my phone. I don't edit my pictures. I might brighten them a little bit, but I do not edit them. Like if there's, there's sometimes where mm -hmm. there's like not enough light in the room or something, yeah, I will lighten it a little bit. But I try to give a very accurate depiction of what the house actually looks like in its current condition. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had to tell a homeowner that was wanting to sell their house and you've gone there to look, um, get a market value and whatnot and start to get pictures and stuff? Have you ever had to tell a homeowner like, Look, I'm definitely not taking pictures of this right now. You, you guys need to you gotta do something with this. Do something yeah, different. So, like, can we make this more presentable? Like, how did they take well, it? Do you get people that like get offended and they're like, oh, we're going with somebody else? Or like Well, I mean, I'm sure that does happen. But like, I would say in my experience, a lot of the sellers that are coming to me are like, hey, what do you feel like is gonna help my sell my house sell the best? Mm -hmm. Like, do I need to do this? Don't I need to do this? Like what what would be your top three things that I need to fix or mm -hmm. change about my house? Pick to your make so that it's like floor. going you huh. Yeah. Put it in the laundry. Put it in the laundry. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I get do get the that. Dog crap. Yeah. Off <laughs> Out of the back living room floor. Right. <gasps> I don't think you mentioned your crazy experience with the renters thing. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't even oh, no. want to. That's a whole. I have. That's a whole other right episode. Yeah. I got them too. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I, oh boy. Yeah, I was a property manager for several years. I managed 120 single family oh, homes my. in Elkhart. Goodness. In Elkhart. Oh nope. And there has been quite a few. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Things that will make me never want <laughs> to do a rental again in my I life. I can understand that. <sighs> yeah, people are just disgusting. Like, well, if it's not theirs, if they're not owning, yeah, they're that, not no, taking that, That's exactly it. what it is. You know? If it's not theirs, they honestly don't care. Mm -hmm. And then it comes back to how like the landlord and tenant relationship, because. Tenants can feel like they are entitled to a lot of things, and landlords are the same. They feel yeah. like the they, tenants have more rights. So then, so then they yeah. get to button heads, and then you start to build that f you relationship, <laughs> you yeah. know. And then it's like they start doing things in spite. Yes, they do. Yeah. You know, I oh, see I accidentally flipped that light switch off a little too hard, and now it's broke, and it shorted out the light. I'm not gonna call him. You know, like stuff like that. Or, or I'm going to raise friend. chickens in the living room. Right. Or I'm going to sublease this I can't make this stuff up. Family I can't make it up. I of 20. It. I actually yeah. believe it. I can't make it up. Yeah. Or I'm going to leave dirty diapers yeah. everywhere. Yeah, yeah, that was okay. That's the only one that I'll tell you about. Piles of them. Is this, <laughs> these people mm -mm. lived in this house for six months. Mm -mm. They never paid a... a a dollar rent, and the reason they got there for six months is because the process to kick them out takes quite a, yeah. quite some time in Indiana. So by the time we got them evicted, um, we went back there to clean the house out. 
and they had literally looked like they had been saving their garbage for three years. And they literally piled all of their garbage through the whole entire first floor. So I was walking through this much garbage all the way across. I mean, you could see mice jumping. They were just jumping as you were walking through because you were disturbing them. So then we get to the upstairs to the baby's room. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. And there's this really nice crib in the middle of the... That was the only thing that was left of, of anything of value. Really nice crib left in the middle of the room. Uh-uh. And we're like, what is all over these walls? We don't yep, remember. Did they do some poop. sort of weird paint? They literally wiped baby poop all over the walls mm-hmm. and then had the audacity to put a note on this baby crib that said, we couldn't fit this in our last load. Don't throw it away. We'll be back for it. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to keep it for you. <laughs> yeah. 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 That was so kind of them to paint your walls mm-hmm. with poop. And that was like one of my breaking points. Like, I am not doing this. So, today. so now <laughs> that you all are scarred, I'm not doing this. And from this they lived episode. there free for six months. Yeah. yeah. That was very kind of them. So, yeah. so there's, th- there's the good, the bad, and the ugly yeah. in real estate. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, you know, kind of to, to wrap us up on this episode. Which well, before we do that, a is there anything scarred. else that you wanted to touch base on that we didn't talk about? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> I don't think so. I feel like we covered quite a bit. I think yep. so. I think okay. we absolutely crushed it. <laughs> like, I mean, we we turned real estate upside down. Especially <laughs> with that last story. In or they don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I they would just no say if I was a renter, if I was a landlord right now, I would be scared to death. <laughs> <laughs> if I were you, after the poop story. After the poop like, story. Like, I mean, Yeah. So oh, it can get way worse. I've got, I've got some. Oh, I've got some juicy we'll ones too. We'll save that for yeah. later. Yeah. You know what? Let's just have, have like a whole episode on yeah. just juicy renter like, stories. I, I think we need to have just like short bites of bursts <laughs> of, yeah, this happened. This happened. That's, let's talk about that. This happened. <laughs> That's your next series. There you go. Yes, this happened. I like it. Yes. So you'll see more of that coming in the future. Thank you for joining us. Absolutely. Have a good time.